longleaf pine ecosystem once occupied nearly 37 million hectares of the North American Atlantic Coastal Plain, an area that has recently been recognized as the world's 36th biodiversity hotspot. Unfortunately, the longleaf pine ecosystem currently spans only about 3% of its historical range, and much of that remainder exists in highly fragmented or otherwise degraded states. The longleaf pine ecosystem is home to some 1,200 species of plant and animal life, including 29 federally threatened or endangered species. Some species, such as the red cockaded woodpecker and gopher tortoise, are endemic to longleaf pine ecosystems, while others, such as northern bobwhite or white-tailed deer, are familiar inhabitants of landscapes across the country. Large tracts of historic longleaf pine ecosystem have been converted to loblolly and slash pine plantations for timber production. In addition, fragmentation and urbanization have greatly contributed to the decline of the longleaf pine ecosystem. However, perhaps the greatest threat to longleaf pine persistence and recovery has been the practice of fire suppression. Longleaf pine woodlands and savannas are fire climax systems requiring frequent, low-intensity fire to clear leaf litter, arrest succession, and prevent hardwood encroachment. Accordingly, restoration efforts for longleaf pine focus on reincorporating fire into the ecosystem. Although estimates for the historical fire return interval in longleaf pine vary from 6 months to 12 years, most current management strategies fall into a regular 1 to 3 year return interval. With the widespread fire suppression practices of previous decades, many longleaf pine stands have suffered from canopy closure and hardwood encroachment, and a high frequency growing season fire regime can help further reduce hardwood growth and maintain open canopies. Frequent growing season fire is essential for restoring longleaf pine ecosystems to healthy states, but continued application of growing season fires can eventually eliminate hardwoods altogether, especially if the larger hardwoods have been manually removed. Many species present in longleaf pine ecosystems benefit from low-density, homogeneously distributed hardwoods, both due to mast production and cover from woody stems. In an effort to better understand these hardwood pine interactions and implications for land managers, my research is focused on examining the relationships between hardwood distribution and habitat selection on two game species in the longleaf pine ecosystem, the northern bobwhite quail and the white-tailed deer. To that end, I will be affixing radio transmitters to northern bobwhite captured in the longleaf pine woodlands of Fort Bragg military installation, where a three-year fire rotation has been in place since 1993. Field researchers will use radio telemetry to obtain daily locations for tagged birds, and vegetation will be sampled for all location points to determine habitat selection and winter movement and survival. In addition, I will use a remote sensing derived hardwood distribution map and an existing dataset of white-tailed deer GPS locations to examine the role of hardwood distribution, mass production, and burn seasonality on deer movement and habitat selection. While many species of the longleaf pine ecosystem are longleaf specialists, other, more broadly distributed species abound as well. Increased biodiversity has been repeatedly shown to increase ecosystem stability and productivity, while revenue from game species is one of the largest sources of funding for conservation efforts across the country. My ultimate goal is to provide information for land managers attempting to maximize biodiversity and game species occupancy in longleaf pine ecosystems without compromising vulnerable populations of longleaf pine specialists. Tonight they're setting the woods on fire. You're my gal and I'm your feller. 